Morning. What are you two doing here? I'm in training. <laughs> Pretty keen on this rugby lark, isn't he? No, oh, it's more than a lark, Jack. Now, nah, if he keeps up his training, he's a good chance of turning professional. Are you serious? Yeah. No, oh, a little help from me. None of the Cairns don't ship him off to Germany for the holidays. Well, they'll want to see him. He's their son. Oh, not if you uh, have a word with him. Persuade them that he can stay here for the summer. What, me? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious. He's got real potential. I mean, if he works hard, there's a chance of future in the game. You told him that? He knows what I think, yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter what me or his mum and dad say. Kid's stubborn. He'll do what he wants. Very sorry about the delay. I want to order. I'll be with you in one minute, OK? Kathy, I'm going to be late. Yeah, i better get off if Eric catches me or I'll have me. OK, Marlon, thanks for this. I'm going. Alice, hold on. Well, I can drop off at school if you want. Would you? Yeah. Cheers. Sorry about this. OK. I'll have that. Excuse me, that isn't yours. Are you deaf or what? Only I've been waiting ten minutes now. I beg your pardon? I said, are you deaf? <laughs> it's a joke, is this? I'm sorry, what was it you wanted? Fried egg and toast. And you can forget a tip, cos I ain't paying. Fine, you want a fried egg, then cook it yourself. Now, if you wouldn't all mind leaving, we're closed. Did everybody get that? We're closed! Mm, Capricorn, Sagittarius. What are you looking for? Me pencil case. Uh, look, if I could just... Ah, this... Aries. Says it's going to be a good day for romance. That stuff is a load of rubbish. No, it's not. This bloke knows all sorts. Well, he didn't know our house was going to burn down. Oh, I give up. Come on. I'm going to be late. Anybody seen my paper? Here. Hey! Come on. We're going to make the bus. All oh, right. Keep your knickers on. Um, here. I think these are yours. No, they're mine. Oh, for goodness sake, they're pink. I'm sorry. I, I must have put them in on a hot wash with a red top. I, accidentally. I'll tell you what, I'll, um, I'll put them through again. I'm sure it'll come out. Didn't you get much sleep last night? No. No, thanks to you. <laughs> so, any last-minute nerves? What about... Oh, yeah, the birthday party tonight. Completely forgot about it. Stop it. It's just a party, no big deal. And you're more nervous about it than I am. No, I'm not. I just want you to feel at ease. Morning! How's Kaiser? He's doing well. Whatever Zoe gave him seemed to do the trick. Mm. I'm just going to go and check on him now. Oh, Kim, um, this was in with the stud farm mail for some reason. Oh, what is it? The vet's bill for Kaiser. Oh. Sorry, I'll sort it out. Hmm. Monday's still coughing, chasing for Claude. Yeah. At least I wait until they're buried before I fleece them. Uh, speak of the devil, I'll be off. Ow! Oh, uh, get a move on with all this, will you? Got a house clearance in Hotton this afternoon. Elm Street. Nice address. Yeah. And unlike your dear cousin here, I ring ahead to check they're expecting us. If you're looking for more dead bodies, try him. He's dead for the neck arm. What's going on over at Team Room? just been over there and the old place is shut. Oh, great. Pollard's banned me from working for her. Cathy probably couldn't manage on her own. What is it with him? The way he's been behaving, I could throttle him. I'll be doing us all a favour. Oh, well, that's rich coming from you. I I'm fed up with him. You're fed up with him? I've got a tip for you. Hey, uh, come here. I can manage. Don't be daft. You'll knock at your back, fitting this on your own. Right. So, how's it going? I haven't had my head kicked in today, if that's what you mean. Look, uh, sorry about that. I'm not going anywhere. So if you and your mates have a problem with that, you can deal with me. I can only afford a couple of quid. Every little helps. On the scrounge again, Vicar? Only the amount of money you've had off us. You must have more brass than the Grand Thought Band. Hey, you lot busy? Only a, 
I need hang with summer. Are you sure? Only I've no funerals booked for today. Look, it was just a bit of bad timing, that's all. I mean, how was I supposed to know the poor woman hadn't been buried? Anyway, what's the problem when the folk's already dead? That's what Burke and Hare said. Well, don't worry, cos it ain't nothing like that. Move yourselves! We ain't got much time! I... I honestly didn't think the treatment was going to cost quite so much. Look, if there's, um... If there's a problem with the bill, why don't you pay me half what you are now and the rest can wait? Well, the thing is, Zoe, I'm not sure I can even manage half. Pay whatever you can afford. I honestly don't mind. If you're sure. Of course I am. I'm not going to let you starve because of a vet's bill. Thanks. Come on, you. Short of money, Kim. I'll tell you what, I could lend you some. And take your pocket money. I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, you'll need it now. Chris isn't paying you for uh, treats. Hi, buddy. Kelly, whatever you might think about Kim, she is still one of my clients, and I would appreciate it if you treated her that way. Sorry. I couldn't resist. Come in for some lunch? No, I've got work to do. Fine. See you. What was all that about? Kelly being her usual diplomatic self. Honestly, she's driving me mad. She never shuts up. It's like living with a wind-up doll. Until to move out. I can't. What are you doing? Uh, uh, Nout. So beat it. I'll tell Pollard. What, what for? I'm not doing anything. I, I've got a story issue and I push off. Two pounds. What for? To push off. You've got to be joking. Oh, look, there's Pollard now. Right. There's a pound. Not a word or I'll be back. With a bit of luck, I should make a nice profit on this one. Poor old girl sitting on a fortune doesn't even know it. You've got a flat tyre. I don't believe it. It's the truth. He's got a future in the game. But he can forget it if he's shipped off to Germany. He'll come back full of sauerkraut and beer. <laughs> well, his family haven't seen him for months. It's only one summer. He's got the rest of his life to play the juiceful son. Come on, Jack. I'm talking about the lad's career. All right, I'll have a word with the Cairns, but I'm not promising anything. And if it interferes with the schoolwork, I'm going to put a stop to it. Talking about schoolwork, if Donna don't take that stud out of her nose, we're going to be teaching her at home. Can't quite see Viv as a schoolmistress, can you? <laughs> uh, a large G&T, please, Helen. Lunch down drinking. It's not like you, Cathy. Yeah. Shouldn't you be at the tea rooms? Wow. But a close for the day. Thanks to Eric Pollard, I've got no staff. Oh, better make it a treble. <laughs> How much have you got so far? Lisa has promised five pounds. Oh, great. Well, at this rate, we'll have to call the whole thing off. Why don't we approach Tara Oakwell? She is the new lady of the manor. Tara o You must be joking. She's as tight as a fist. She's got Biff working all hours. You don't get any extras. I thought I asked you to wash these. Oh, sorry, uh, machine were full of her stuff. It, it's your things. I was trying to get the dye out. <sighs> this is ridiculous, Al. They're getting in the way of the running of the pub. You've got to tell her to leave before it gets worse. Well, the hiller's obviously having difficulty finding somewhere suitable to rent. So they'll be gone soon. Get real, Al. How hard do you think she's trying? She's got it easy here. You've got to tell her to get shot, or she'll never leave. She popped the tire with that awful nose stud of hers. Mm. This is where we had a spare. Come on. Well, it looks like she's going out. Maybe she'll oh. come back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Mr. Pollard. Mrs. Bennell, sorry about the delay. But you're too late. Ah, uh, no, no, I uh, will be quick, I promise you. I just want to check the list of items that we've got. Oh, thank hey. you very much. Just what I needed. <laughs> what the hell are you. Oh, I've part of the vomit in the bar. Okay. What are they doing here? I'm sorry, I tried to explain. That young lady got here before you. I've sold the contents to her. But we have an agreement. Not in writing. Miss Dingle made me a better offer. I'm sorry, Mr Pollard, but you had your chance. Well, well, what did you tell ah, me? Oh. Oh. Ah. Sorry, me foot slipped. Look, why, why don't we just leave it? There's nothing we can do. No. I want to know how you found out about this. Well, don't take an idiot. How much are you going to give me for all this? I'm not giving you anything. Fine, I 
sell it to a furniture dealer. She'll give me a fortune for this lot. Uh, no, uh, wait. Um, how much do you want? 150. That is daylight robbery. Well, do you want the furniture or don't you? I'll give you 125. Oh, you can put that away, I want cash. Right. I'll give you 100 and that is your lot. Okay. It's worth a discount for the look on your face. <laughs> Are you saying we've got to move out? Well, we did agree it was just a temporary arrangement. He put you up to this, didn't he? He didn't have to. You've got free bed and board here. Even I can see you taking the mate. Is that what you think? That I'm scrounging off you? Uh, no, no. I, I, I'm merely suggesting that you could perhaps try a little harder to find alternative accommodation. Fine. Well, I'll start now, shall I? Oh, I'm starving. What's for tea? Nothing. You'll have to get it yourself. I'm going out. Well, what about your shift? Terry will have to do it. What's going on? Where are you going? I'm going to find us a house. Because thanks to him, we're being evicted. I am not letting Mandy get away with this. Well, I don't see how you can stop her. I mean, like she said, you're being watched. I shall think of something, don't you worry. She's going to regret crossing swords with me. Eric, I want a word. Not to be snappy. Fun starts in a minute. I want us to go back to the old hours. <laughs> My dear girl, we, we have an agreement. No, we have an arrangement. All right, we have an arrangement whereby you open two hours earlier and I open at four o'clock. It isn't working. I can't do breakfast without a chef. Well, hire one of your own. Marlon's spoken for. I can't afford to. Then you should have thought about that beforehand, shouldn't you? Eric, you are making my life a misery. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we have an arrangement. Now, you can't just back out because you're having a few difficulties coping. You want me to lose all this, don't you? Oh, Cathy. Stop being so paranoid. You can pack in now. Isn't time yet, is it? It's all right. Dave will finish you up here. If you say so. Just get my stuff. Lads, finito. Still on for tonight? Yeah, 9.30. I've had a word with Ted on security. I'll let lads know. You staying to tea, Kirsty? Yeah, all right. My mate working again, is she? No, she's gone to see a house in Hotton. Good idea. Pub's hardly the best place to bring up kids. Hey, Kirsty, what's going to happen at school then? Well, you'd find out if you took that damn thing out your nose, wouldn't you? Told you I ain't taking it out. Come on, let's go upstairs. Kids, eh? There's no telling them. Nope. So, what can we do for you? It's Kelly. Oh, what's she done now? I was hoping you could try having another word with her about coming back here. She can't stay at my place forever. Me talking to her won't do any good. You know she won't listen to me. You're her parents. She's your responsibility, not mine. <laughs> if you could just try. Look, we've been all through this before. She knows she's welcome back here any time. I'm sorry. Just have to sort it out between yourselves. There's no one else I can do. You made your bed. You just have to lie in it. Sponsoring the fair would do wonders for your standing in the village, um, not to mention the benefits for your business. Oh, I doubt very much that lending my name to a bouncy castle is going to impress my business associates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not going to be like that. I'm planning some decent entertainment. There's a DJ from Leeds. Oh, sounds interesting. We want it to be much more exciting this year, not just the usual stalls or best pet prizes. Well, think about it. The thing is, we do need to know rather urgently. Ah, I'll let you know tomorrow. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> Oh, very tough. Oh, get over, will you? I feel like a right prat. Well, you look lovely. Just like Mel Gibson, only shorter. Maybe this was a bad idea. Well, what's the problem? I thought you were looking forward to it. I just... I don't feel comfortable. <sighs> Relax. It'll be fine. It's just a party with a few of my friends. I promise you, it'll be fun. Still no sign of Heather? No, I wouldn't worry about her, though. No one else. She'll probably be off with some bloke for the night. Thanks very much, Terry. Oh, you were brilliant. You should have seen the look on Pollard's face, right? That sight I'm going to cherish till my dying day. Uh, talking of looks, have you seen Cathy? I hardly recognise the poor girl, then. She's in a terrible state. You know, I've been thinking, I reckon I should get out of the house. You do? To be honest, I've been thinking the same thing myself. <laughs> yeah, sick of staying in. It's about time you and me had a night out. 
Perhaps I should just sell up. You can't give up that easy. Why not? Life would be a lot easier. See more of Alice, go out with friends. You can still do that without selling up. Not while Eric's still around. You've savings, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Then buy him out. Get rid of Eric. You can run the place how you wanted. No, he wouldn't agree to sell to me. What have he had to? What have we forced him out? How? I can think of ways. Wouldn't involve anything illegal. It ain't gonna happen, Marlon. Eric gives up his share. As if. You take over the old place. Now I know you're joking. Oh. And I'll become your head chef. Look, it was so humiliating, I practically had to ask Zoe for tick. Well, can't we just sell Kaiser? No, I'm not that horse. Not more than me. Yeah, it's cheaper to keep. <sighs> oh, there's nothing on. Uh, where are you going? To the wool pack. What, this hour? Yeah, fancy a pint. Oh, well, you're on your own. Even the weather forecast is slightly more entertaining than the company there. Oh, and Steve, don't be long. I don't you rolling in worse for wear? <laughs> Well, I didn't expect it to be like this. Well, what did you expect? Waltzing and civilised small talk. <coughs> Hello, Tara. Mm. <laughs> you look as if you're having a good time. Mm, I'm getting better by the minute. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Biff Fowler, the Honourable Lucinda Munro. Please just call me Lucy. <laughs> is that Toby? Yes, he's just back from America. Oh, do you mind? I haven't seen him for ages. No, go on. So, how long have you and Tara been seeing each other? Uh, we're not exactly seeing each other. I'm a driver. Does that mean I can nab you for a dance? Let's just get one thing straight, shall we? I'm not for hire. Don't be so chippy. I didn't think you were. So how do you know, Tara? We were at school together. Until I got expelled. What for? Snogging the head of sixth form. It was a mixed school. Yeah. Come on, we better get a move on. We're nearly done. Oh, be, care be careful, will you? What was that? I don't know. I'll just go and take a look. Hey! Why you heck? Shout why don't you? Let the old country know what we're up to. Come. I think I'll go on up. Okay. I'll lock up. Oh, sorry. No, don't go. There you go. We weren't surprised when we heard about the divorce. Did you know Alex well? Yes, he was a complete prat. I could never understand what Tara saw in him. No, neither could I. Still, she's obviously come to her senses. Thanks. I'm sorry. That sounded patronising. I didn't mean it to. No, it's OK. You get used to it in my job. Oh, that's told me I keep forgetting what you do. Yeah, I wish I could. It'd make things a lot easier. If I say something, you won't take it the wrong way. That depends what it is. Tara's a good friend. She's had a hard enough time of it with Alex. Don't worry. I'm nothing like Alex. You can see that. Look, I like Tara. She likes me. We're enjoying ourselves. End of story. I'm not after anything else. I could get Lynn if you like. No. I looked everywhere tonight. There were nothing. Just bed sits that stank of rotten cabbage or worse. They weren't fit for animals, let alone kids. I could talk to Al. See if he'll let you stay a bit longer. What's the use? You want us out. You'll find somewhere. You're earning. <gasps> With two kids to feed and a barmaid's wage. I'm skint. I've got no savings. Do you think I'd be stuck in this place if I had? 
A flaming pub in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to be here. Why don't you sleep on it? It'll seem different in the morning. No, it won't. What do they say? Things will always get better. That's a joke. They don't. They get worse for people like me. I haven't got the energy to go on like this anymore. It's all such a flaming mess. I don't know what to do. You two gossiping again? Well, Lucy's just been telling me how lucky I am. Yeah, quite right, too. <laughs> we better be going as me. OK, I'll get a cab. Your place? Absolutely. Good talking to you, Lucy. And, uh, don't worry. What was that about? Nothing. Biff was just putting me right on a few things. So, what do you think? I think you are a very lucky girl. He's gorgeous. I know. <laughs> I've worked so hard trying to look after us all. But it's just one thing after the other. First, my dad being ill. And the fire. Nothing ever seems to go right. I sometimes wonder if it's me. If I make these things happen. Of course you don't. It's, uh, it's just bad luck, that's all. Sixteen years worth. Even I'm not that unlucky. I don't know. It all seems so pointless. Look at me. I'm 35. I'm just a barmaid. I've got no home, no money. Even my kids will be gone soon. What the hell have I done with my life? I didn't want it to be like this. I wanted a nice home, my own family, decent bloke. I get so frightened, wondering what's going to happen next, thinking how I'm going to cope on my own. I can't stand it, being this lonely. I know. It's been so long, just having somebody holding me. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Heather, 